Hey everyone, real quick, I just wanted to show you a training aid that I'm using. Actually, I'm doing it right now. I'm doing a little bit of um, dry fire practice after work. And uh, I use these quite a bit. These are the Rogers Tap Rack training aid. And I'll put a link in the description uh, to where you can find these on Amazon. But uh, they come in a three pack. I don't remember what they cost. They're not very expensive. But they go into your magazine and they basically sit on top of the follower. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to use a magazine for training without the slide locking back while it's empty. All right, so one of the challenges with uh, practicing with a magazine for dry fire practice, actually, let me just remove this. All right, so I took out the, uh, the follower here and uh, empty magazine, empty gun, right? So one of the problems is every time you want to rack the pistol, your, your slide's gonna lock back. Not a big deal if you're training without a magazine. You can do uh, dry fire all day long, right? Which is how most people train, myself included. Um, but sometimes I like to train with a magazine. I actually did a video on the Urban Carry holster, did a review on that, and demonstrated why it's really important to train with a magazine. But again, normally, when you're just using a straight magazine, you have that slide lockback problem. So uh, you can short cycle it, not a good habit to get into. I'd rather keep the habit of you know, doing long strokes so that you don't, you don't build in the muscle memory of a short stroke. Uh, just my opinion. And uh, yeah, so the other thing it allows you to do is do specific drills, malfunction clearance drills, or what I like to use it for a lot is uh, magazine change drills. So uh, let me demonstrate that. Let me find where I put that guy. There he is. All right, so here's another look at this guy. Uh, the top is this here. Um, this is gonna be where the, the name is. It's gonna stick out. You're gonna load it just like a cartridge into your magazine. And then what it does is it presses down on the follower, that little lip that locks the slide back. So now when we insert the magazine into the pistol, we can do tap rack drills without having to worry about the slide locking back. Now we can do those same sort of drills with a bunch of dummy rounds, which is how I used to do it. The problem is, Every time you cycle the slide, you're chunking a dummy round out onto the carpet somewhere. So you end up having to go clean up and pick up dummy rounds after the fact. So I prefer doing it with these Rogers. Uh, and I think that that's really where they designed them was for those tap rack um, clearance drills. So I really like that. Now they also advertise it as being useful for training with the Mantis X. I have the Mantis X. Um, I don't see as much value there other than the reasons I'm already telling you because I have a rail. Now, if your Mantis X is magazine base, you know, they have the base plate adapter for guns without rails, then now suddenly that becomes pretty important because you've got to run with a magazine. So yeah, uh, something else to consider. So speaking of magazines, the way I do it for magazine changes, I have a magazine uh, on my belt. And then what I do, same way, I'll simulate a slide lock, and then I'll do a magazine change. So I manually lock the slide back with the slide stop. Practicing emergency reload situation. I'm on target, I recognize I have a slide lock back, and I'm back on target, practicing my emergency reloads. Again. And because I have this little training aid in both of the magazines I'm practicing with, I could just keep going back and forth. Now, I am practicing using the slide release method, which I'm a fan of. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on that, uh, it's probably gonna pop up here on the screen. I can practice whatever technique I feel like doing at the time. So that's the beauty of these little guys. Again, these are Rogers Tap Rack training aids. Uh, check them out, get the link, they're cheap. Uh, they really do help uh, give you a new way uh, to help support your dry fire training in the home.
So yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.